Now joined by City Kickboxing's own Brad Quake Riddell. The first thing I want to say is I follow you and your teammates and everybody at City Kickboxing on social media. I saw some workouts today that made me a little physically ill, dragging weights through the sand. Is it as bad as it looks, first off? That's my first question. Yeah, man, that stuff's no fun. Like, um, that's like part of the sort of breath work training we do with a guy called Dave Wood. And um, it's like low impact on your body because you're in the sand and stuff, but it's horrible. It's hard, you know, because you're dragging the stuff through sand, pulling yourself up sand dunes, semi drowning in the ocean. Yeah, but it's a hard time. Yeah, easy stuff. Almost drowned in the ocean. Great. So how much confidence does it give you going into fights, especially like, you know, Drew Dober, a veteran you're going to fight next, having those workouts in your back pocket, you know what you did to get there. Is that where your confidence comes from? Uh, yeah. Like, you know, we all, I think my confidence comes from uh, my experience in my, in my fight career. You know, I've been doing this a very, very long time. Training hard obviously gives you uh, more confidence, but at this level, I guess we all kind of train hard. That's why we're in the UFC. So uh, yeah, it's those like little one percenters that separate us. And uh, my one percent is the massive amount of fights that I've had kickboxing. So your six fight win streak you're on now, right? Three of them in the UFC. Was there a trigger for that? Was there something that made that streak happen? Or was it just a matter of you said about consistency catching up to your performances? Tell me about it. No, nah, man, I lost. I, uh, I, I lost the fight that I, uh, you know, I, the guy wasn't, I'm not going to take anything away from the guy, but I, sh I definitely should have won that fight. I came in there too um, relaxed, uh, too overconfident. I learned a valuable lesson, and I said to myself that I am never going to make that mistake again, and I'm not going to lose. And so I've just been on this tear, and I continue, uh, sorry, I plan to continue it. And uh, yeah, man, it, it, I'm going to have to carry that loss to my grave. But it makes you better. So don't, don't worry about it. All right. And when you look back on it at the end, you'll realize how much better it made you as a fighter. Look, your opponent coming up, Drew Dober, you talk about adversity. You talk about a guy who's been through just about everything in the 155 pound division. Coming off a loss to Islam Makachev, very, very motivated. That's, that snapped a streak of his own. What are your thoughts on him as a competitor, as an opponent? Great fighter. You know, uh, I love watching Drew. Uh, he's got like a very appealing style to me. You know, I like striking. I like that pressure. I like that confidence. And he has all of that. So it just made sense that, you know, I, I asked to fight that guy because it's going to be a pretty exciting fight the way I fight. You know, I like to stand and bang and, and push forwards and, and really dig deep. And so our, our, our styles are going to like complement each other, right? Exactly the same thing. He might wrestle a little bit. He might not. But yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't pick him because I think he's a you know an easy fight or a walks or anything like that. I picked him because I think he's a hard fight. Going back to having fans in the stadium, what does that mean to you? Is it the kind of thing that motivates you, or is it the kind of thing you ignore? Tell me about it. Yeah, like uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's 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 great to have fans uh, back in the stadium. Like you can't deny that energy is like infectious. Like it's. Whether they're screaming for you or the other guy or whatever, like it's mean to have some noise. It was really cool to experience fighting in that dead silent um, atmosphere. You know, that's like a different mental test, something that you can tick off in your box in your career. But uh, I'm looking forward to having people back. You know, at the end of the day, this is an entertainment sport. And, uh, you know, people in the crowd, if they entertain, that keeps me happy. People will pay their hard earned money to come watch me fight people. And so, yeah, man, it always motivates me to fight better. Well, Brad Quake Riddell, best of luck to you against Drew, Drew Dober. Thanks a lot for your time, buddy. Cheers, man. Thank you. Here's where you can catch all the action. UFC 263 Adesanya versus Vittori, part two, Sunday, the 13th of June. Prelims start at 6 a.m. Hong Kong time. The main card is at 10 a.m. Hong Kong time on Fox Sports.